it was a fun game. Um, just finding the flow, you know, after a slow start, and you know, getting a piece of you know what our defense can can be, and you know how it can affect our offense if you know we're getting stops and you know playing fast and you know letting our talent take over. Looking at Nurkic, what, what impressed you the most about the game we played the other day? Um, I mean, it's hard to pinpoint it. You know, he he was doing it all around. You know, on both sides of the ball, um, making plays, communicating, setting really good screens, just making it a lot easier for all of us. I'm curious, what you, obviously, you and DeAndre, you had to see each other since Detroit. What was that yeah. like being out there? Or maybe on the opposite end, I saw a couple of times where I think he was trying to screen you, and then you went around, <laughs> around him. What was that like being on the floor in that situation? Just competitive, better than fun. With him, do you see this kind of as a fresh start for him? He might not be able to win a championship this year, but maybe be able to expand this game. Oh uh, yeah, but they have some good young talent over there too, um, especially at the guard. So you know, hopefully he can, you know, give them a little something that maybe picked up from from me and Chris, and you know, spacing and you know, just lead that, be the leader of that group. You alluded to him. What you think of Scoop? Really good, man. I watched him, you know, when he was in the G League last year. And, you know, I think he's gonna be really good. Obviously, you know, we all have some things to learn, but you know, it looks like he loves the game. He has a high IQ for it. Um, he has a body built for the game, and you know, his athleticism is off the charts. Jordan was able to play for the preseason for the first time. What you make of uh, what he did on the floor? Yeah, I mean, we've been we've been together all summer pretty much, and I've been seeing him work out. Uh, you know, and I'm watching DC film on him, so. I was happy as healthy to get out there. And, you know, he's a real solid guard. You know, he, he knows what it takes, and you know he does it on both sides. Broke the 46 point first quarter, the 76 point first half. It's about as good as you can expect. What do you think? He's making the offense just gel so quickly. Uh, I mean, just making the right plays. You know, I know it sounds simple, but just taking what the defense gives us, and you know, we have unselfish players. We have. Unselfish players that you know can cause a lot of attention and you know open up easier looks for other people. Like the way that Gordon brings the spacing and the ability to kind of drive on those bully ball drives, how do you like the way that he's kind of come in and immediately fit in? Yeah, I mean he's he's learning. Um, I mean, that's important. You know, we have a lot of depth on this team, a lot of talent on this team, and you know these are the times where you get to separate yourself and. You know, just get to compete against your own teammates, and he's been doing a good job at that. When it comes to learning a new kind of defensive system and whatnot, how do you like the way that you guys have kind of like pre rotated on some of those screens where, where Nurk is like up to the level and you guys are kind of trying to create deflections and stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's going to change night to night. I think the best teams are the ones that can pick it up the quickest. And, you know, once you get to playoff basketball and teams are running different lineups, you know, you have different schemes for different sets so you know when there's no delay or no lag and you don't have to wait a possession or two where you give up easy looks to figure it out you know that's what makes a really good defense what do you think about the makeup of this team new coaches a lot of new players yeah i like it you like it you think it's uh, it's it's better than what what you had in the past i wouldn't do that um but definitely different I'm not here to compare which team I've been on. Better in my first few years, I'll tell you that. <laughs> How about uh, you feeling like, since you're the only guy left from the finals, you're like the old guy on this team now? Uh, I mean, we have KD in uh, okay. year 18 now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Coaches won it, so, you know, we have a lot of experience around here. And, you know, I have a lot, the most experience in Phoenix, but. You know, these guys have been around for a long time. What do you think about the staff and how it's, that was meshed with you guys in terms of just the practices and, and the way they, they, they've been in practice? Uh, I think practice has been really important. I, mean, I think everybody's mentality and approach has been lining up um, and that we're all on the same page to compete and get better. And, uh, it's already in preseason, preseason having the understanding you know, of how important each possession is. And, you know, understand the potential of how good we can be and, and not taking advantage of that. Wanted to do a quick uh, accessory check with you. PJ is the guy who knows how to find shoes, right? What's the backstory behind those? These are his. Um, his PE's color scheme from when he first started playing in, in Europe when he was over in Ukraine. And, um, so I think this, his team colors while I was over there.
But I just found them recently. I had them probably for over a year. I opened a random box in my house and there it was. <laughs> Do you remember hearing any stories from him when he was playing here since you've gotten to know him? Because he's, he's got so many stories when it comes to finding shoes and just Who, seems like the guy. Yeah, he seems like the guy in the league. What, with shoes? Finding them at least. Yeah, he has all the contacts. <laughs> yeah, that's my OG. He showed me around now. I have a lot of similar contacts, but I don't spend as much money as him. He takes it international. Yeah. He goes around the globe. Yeah. It's collectors everywhere. With the headband, is that a game by game feel, permanent thing going forward? Uh, I was just trying to find myself. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps inspired. Yeah, man. Yeah. Perhaps inspired by Brad a bit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look, it's been a minute since the D-backs have played into your guys' season. How yeah. does the city feel? Are you following playoff baseball? Yeah, I mean, you guys feel it. It's, it's turned up right now. And hopefully we can get out to the game. Was it Phillies next round? Yeah. I'm telling, yeah. I'm, I'm telling Coach that he's a Phillies fan, you know, so everybody give him a hard time about that. What's that all about? He's from that area, <laughs> from the parts. We don't have to hear from Mikhail about the Phillies. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'll talk to Tony Rodella about it. Right. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's an exciting time, and, you know, I hope the best for them. It can only help the city and the morale of the city, and everybody's up and excited for them. With so many new faces, how nice is it to have Kevin Young still here, kind of the corporate dollars in their hands? And uh, yeah, that was an uh, important part of the offseason, especially when, when Mont went, um, you know, holding something from you know, what we had with those teams. And KY is somebody I lean on for, for a lot. You know, he sees the game at a high level, so, you know, we've developed that relationship and I have a lot of trust in him. Were you surprised about the whole coaching turnover at the end of last season? Oh, uh, yeah, but, you know, you know how the NBA is. I've, I've seen some pretty crazy things. Not just the NBA, every sport. Exactly. It's a business. All business. Right. Look, I don't know if you saw the video of Bradley reacting on the bench to you guys. But yeah, I did. I did. How, how does he kind of mesh in and kind of elevated you guys. I mean, he just has a you know a high personality. Uh, likes to have a good time, likes to laugh, and you know, at the same time likes to kill on the court. So, you know, it's a great teammate, great guy you want to be around. You know, keeps the spirit high, and you know, it's definitely been a fun time so far. Bradley was saying that when he joined the team, he was like, well, he knows where you guys are. And he was looking forward to that competition, whether it was in practice and things like that. How has that gone? So far with obviously the summer you got, you got workouts in and now competing in it. Oh, same thing. I mean, we just get after it every day. You know, iron sharpens iron. And, you know, some days we've been on the same team. Some days we'll run five on five drills. We'll coach a split three of us up. So, you know, we get a chance to get after it, all make each other better. And you know, it's been a good time. Only other thing I have was obviously you guys went to HBO's home, so to speak. The uh, facility that's <laughs> massive. Uh, what'd you think of? What'd you think of that? What'd you think about practicing in front of um, their, their their employees? Yeah, it was a good time. You know, I think that was important for Matt, and you know, I'm, I was definitely fine with it back in Michigan. Um, you know, so walking through, you know, his headquarters and some people yelling out they are from my city. But, you know, it, it was a really good time, and I think really important for him to collide both both worlds and. He had everybody in there in Phoenix Suns gear, so you know we have a hub in Michigan now with some Phoenix Suns fans, which is important. This is the time of year when that guy's on the TV a lot, right? Jack Who Skellington that? down there. Oh yeah, that's yeah. my boy. That time of year, you're gonna have the decorations up again? Yeah, we already up. Oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't check in. Already up. I should assume. Yeah. I know how you do it. Yeah, yeah. you got money. You got money in Michigan too. So. Exactly. I know you got too many pairs of shoes when you just find them. Thank you, yeah, boy. Exactly. Exactly.